you guys. So I've got kind of a long episode for you this week. I took a lot of video. Um, Tuna won't leave me alone since I've been home. Clearly she's a little bit lonely. Um, but yeah, so I've got lots of video for you this week. Um, I was at the CBHI in Pinoca, so I will show you what I got. How you walk horses when you're lazy. Like, do you even need me here? You know where you're going. Look at this. We need you. Should be packing. Drinking coffee instead. Just heading out. <laughs> it's dark. Shocking. I'm running late. Um, I'm driving to Golden tonight, which is like probably halfway to Pinoca, where the final destination is for tomorrow. Um, they've got a nice little rodeo grounds there, so I'll just go hang out there tonight and then leave early in the morning and hit the road again. So off we go. Got the horses all settled in for the night. Um, it's like 12:30. Um, I'm just having some midnight pop-tarts for dinner because I just didn't really have dinner on the way um, But yeah, so settled in for the night There's so many people pulled into this rodeo grounds right now and I pulled in as like kind of the last one and Put my horses away and my generator is obnoxiously loud But it is so cold that I could not sleep without turning heat on like it Got my little heater going but I'm still frozen so sorry to everybody but had to do it How cute is Grinchy in her pajamas? They have unicorns on them. And cheese. His have my little pony on them. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you guys are so cute. It's our little home for the weekend. All right. First run on the CBHI, I run Chase first, and then pretty quickly actually I run Grinchy after. So I'm 108 on him, and then 170 on her. And they run 16 hours, so that's pretty quick. So yeah, I'm gonna hustle back over, um, get her nebulized, and get on. But yeah, here we go. First run on Chase. Okay, one run down on Chase. I'm a little frustrated. Um, I didn't ride him very good. So him and I sometimes clash. A, well, we clash a little bit. And uh, today I didn't really help him out. So it's my own fault. But just uh, ne nebulizing a little Grinchy pants. And we're going to run pretty quick here. She's resting the nebulizer on the gate. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the action with the tower stumble. Round the number one barrel of the right side. Hustle around that number two will make up that uh, fraction of a second. And uh, take some more time off the clock. And the duo, they're going to clock in at a time of 18.4. Doing her thing. I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> Drinking hand. <laughs> Getting the two horses. <laughs> I love barrel racing. I love barrel racing. I love barrel racing. It's freezing in here. <laughs> I slept with my hood up and the blankets over my head. Okay, day two. <laughs> it's cold out. Um, not super cold temperature wise, but it's crazy windy today. So I'm hiding in the trailer until I actually have to get on. But uh, 
yeah, we're gonna go fast today. We're doing the Nebby inside today. Hanging out with Rami, best friend Kyla's place. It's too cold outside, I can see. Mm. Well, Grinch did good. <laughs> Note to self, can't pack a whip and run. <laughs> it's cold out here today. So uh, I tried to pack a whip on Grinch today because I felt like she got a little short on me. That was a bad idea. <laughs> I cannot multitask. Chase's turn, me too. Well, go figure. I wrote better today, and I trusted Mr. Chase Man, and he was a star. He did so good, so I could wait it in the weekend because yesterday I was not very excited about him and my run together. So today was much better. He did great. Don't listen to him. He was not in the right way for such a long time. Give us five thousand dollars. We got forty-seven and a half. Mom, Darkie, what do you say? Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. I'll take it. Six thousand. And he tells me. Six thousand. Six thousand. BFA Reserve World Champion. Dirty Morris. BFA World Champion. Arnie Pierce. Eight. He's better than that. Eight. 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 Thirty-five thousand. Thirty-four seven fifty. Thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five thousand. So last year Annette Moore helped me buy a horse. <laughs> this year it was her daughter. Friends <laughs> in the family. I suppose. <laughs> What do you guys think? You need wind. Oh, hi. <laughs> You're so cute. What are you bitten? He's good. It is 9 o'clock. That's it, man. <laughs> just in, just, no, so don't so worry. Off. By about 9 30, you'll be right back. This is the Moore's dad named Black Gold Jack. He's a Dash of Fame son. Two of his babies made the charity short go up here yesterday. The only stud to have two babies in it, so that's pretty cool. Hi, sweetheart. I'm tired. <laughs> it's a busy weekend. Um, all three horses are loaded, heading the road, just about to leave Pernoka. So, home we come. Stop bugging your brother. Well, I'm just driving home from Alberta and um, thinking of things that I'm thankful for being in its Canadian Thanksgiving today. Um, you know, and when I drive, I think a lot and I think about Chad all the time. Obviously, I miss him so much. And, you know, even knowing how it ends, like I would still go back and be his girlfriend, even though I knew, you know, even if I would have known all that heartbreak I was going to experience, like he was worth it. And, 
you know, um, I'm just so grateful that I got to be his girlfriend while he was here. Um, I still love him so much and it's, you know, every day is really hard without him, but um, I think remembering all the good that we had and how grateful I am and how lucky I am to have had him. And now I just have like the best guardian angel that anyone could ever ask for. Um, so I'm extremely grateful for him all the time. Um, I'm also really grateful for his family who still treats me like I'm part of the family. I'm really grateful for my friends and family because I don't know how I could get through all of this without them. And uh, you know what, I'm also like, I'm just so grateful to be a horse girl. Like I love my horses, I love horses more than anything in the world. And you know, this year it kind of made me realize like life is short and if you love something you just gotta do it. And uh, I actually had a Facebook memory come up the other day. My Opa, um, I was really close with him and he passed away a little over a year ago. And uh, one of my Facebook memories was something that he said to me and it said, uh, Maddie, you know what? Just do what you love and don't let anyone talk you out of it. <laughs> and uh, that really stuck with me. And this year in particular, I felt like, you know what? I just gotta put that into action. So, you know, it's been kind of stressful because I don't always know where my income's gonna come from. So, you know, I've been living pretty simply or trying to. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like, pick up the odd job here and there or you know luckily some weekends I win some money um, but yeah like it's you know at the end of the day like this is what I want to do I want to be a barrel racer so I'm working on you know making that dream come true so you know the gratitude that I have for being able to live this life is crazy because I know not everyone is lucky enough to get to have horses and do all that so I'm extremely lucky but I think my kind of point through this long reflection video is even when things feel like they're completely falling apart just remember that there is still things to be grateful for you know like even though sometimes you have to claw at things to find the good in it there is something there so remember be grateful because you know even through the hard days there's still a lot of really great things in this world oh hot sauce is that your new buddy Oh. I love the cranberry sauce. I made a double batch. Jane does not disappoint when it comes to Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Is that video? So I very distinctly remember saying that I was not coming home with another horse, but uh, sometimes you just get that gut feeling about one and you gotta bring them home. So, um, and I, I didn't have any checks and they take check or cash and I was like, well, I can't withdraw that much cash in one day. So. Um, I called Chelsea, who's a good friend of mine that you would have seen in the video, and I said, hey, like, um, do you have checks? And she goes, well, like to buy a horse? And I said, yeah. And she goes, well, I don't think it'll go through for that, but yeah, I got checks. <laughs> and I was like, well, Chelsea, like, I have the money, it's fine, but like, I'll just, <laughs> I just need the actual check. So I'm kind of funny, but anyway, so thank you, Chelsea. Um, and then... Uh, I don't know if you guys remember a few episodes ago, I said something about um, going to be on a TV show. So I'm actually heading out today to Karen Mias is where we're gonna be filming. Um, and my horses and I are gonna be on a show called The Grand Tour. Um, it's a British TV show, it's on Amazon Prime, which I didn't even know that they had TV, so this must be a little bit different for them than it is for us. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be working on that show for two days. And I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to take of um, kind of like behind the scenes stuff, but I'm hoping they'll let me take a little bit of footage. And I don't actually know the air date yet. Um, that being said, I also don't know if we're going to, get to see it in Canada. I didn't really ask a lot of questions. I just kind of signed up and was like, yeah, I'll do it. This sounds cool. So, um, I will keep you guys posted on that and, uh, I'm heading off today to do it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.